everyone, and welcome back to Fisher Highlights on Pipso TV channel. I am your host Sinisha, and in today's episode, I want to show you the early access plugin. If you go to WordPress dashboard, then installer, you will see this little plugin over here, early access, and this is only available for ultimate bundle users. If you are on a basic bundle, you won't have access to this plugin. And this plugin contains all the latest and cutting edge technology and features that we are working on. And these features are not necessarily ready for the production use. But let's install it and see what's available in this plugin. Now that we have early access downloaded, just activate the plugin and go to Pipso configuration. You will see the new options available in the, in the toolbar at the top of the configuration page. If you don't see this, uh, the, these titles, simply enable the top tab titles over here. Okay, early access. And now read all about, about Pipso early access. And you will find a lot of disclaimers here, how this plugin is for uh, the test use only that contains the features that we are working on and they are not ready for the, for, for, for the production use. So please be careful when you, when you're using this plugin and be mindful of your website when you install the, the beta features. Always have the backup, the full backup of the website if you're going to use this plugin. If you go through any of these features, you will see that it has four important information. The development stage, translate, translate table emails are currently in beta. Uh, they are not production ready. So we do not recommend enabling this feature on a, on a production website, but you can use it on a test website to see this new feature if it's, if it's for you or not. It is not officially supported. So if you ask for support regarding this feature, it will most likely uh, not be provided. Of course, we will try our best to, to help you out, but if feature is not supported, then it is not supported. I'm sorry. And uh, we are open for feedback regarding this feature. So you can help us improve this feature by testing it out and giving us your feedback. I strongly encourage you to play around with all of these features and test them out, but to speed up this video, I'm only going to show you the new search option. So if you go here on the front end and try to search anything, so let's try to search for a username Angela. Do I even have a name Angela? Let's try Diana. Okay. Diana and search. The search result will return nothing, basically, because this search is only searching for, for the WordPress articles. And let's try to search for the word integrate. And now it will find me this article because the search res this search is only working for, for, for the WordPress blogs, and we want it to work for everything inside of your community, for the posts, for the users, and so on. In order to do that, first, you need to enable this feature, save the settings, and now you need to go to the Pipso, then configuration, Look for navigation and stream filters. 
and you will see that new search navigation has popped up here. But because we don't have a page with this short code, it cannot find it. So let's create a page with Pipso search short code. Go to pages, all pages. I'm going to open it in a new window. Add new. Add a short code. Come on. And call it Pipso search. I'm going to publish this page and then go back to this configuration, refresh, re refresh this page so the page could be found, page with a short code, and I'm going to use this newly created page with, P with Pipso search short code for my search page. Save the settings. And if it's not saved immediately, just refresh the page one more time and you will see it here. Now, as soon as you enable any of the early access features, a configuration will be added into Pipso configuration. And depending on the feature you enabled, the location will be different. In our particular case, we enabled the search option and we got the entire new tab for the search options over here. So let's check what we have there. Let's show in show images in the search results. And I'm going to enable the show empty sections so you can see in my next search how empty sections will show up. I want to be able to search for community posts, for community members, community groups, hashtags even, WordPress posts or WordPress blogs, and WordPress pages. Actually, no, we are not going to search for content in WordPress pages. Save the settings. And now let's go back to the site front end and look for Diana one more time. Wait for it. And it will find me all the Dianas on my website. But it will also show the community posts, groups, hashtags, and posts with no results. And that's simply because we said show empty sections. Let's do not show empty sections. Let's refresh this search. And now it's showing me only the things that have been found. And as you can see in the settings, it works for uh, community posts, members, groups, hashtags. So if I have a group for piano players, if I look for players, it will show me the group. Or if I look for piano, it will show me the community posts that have a piano keyword in them and all the groups. And that is all I have for you in this video. I hope you liked it. And one more time, please use early access features with caution. They are in the early access for the specific reason. And I cannot stress enough, enough uh, the, how much is important that you have a backup of your entire website before you enable any of these features. Okay, with that, I would like to thank you for watching. And if you liked it, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and smash that bell notification icon to be notified whenever a new video comes out. Don't forget to follow us on social media as well. Links will be in the description below. Until the next video, I wish you all the best with your websites. Bye.